Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. I want my audience to know that I have Motor Trend TV hit series expert from Garage Block, and they're back. Bruno is the host, and they've got a new co-host, Christy Lee. Congratulations, Christy. Thank you so much. I'm, uh, you know, I've known Bruno for a while. I'm, I'm excited to be part of the show this season. Yeah, I see you come with your own little stellar resume. I was reading up about you. Stop, stop. No, continue, continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been uh, with Motor Trend for several years now. I co-host another show called All Girls Garage, and I also co-host the Barra Jackson Collector Car Auctions live on Motor Trend and Discovery as well. So I'm, I'm hustling this season. <laughs> Well, I've seen you on All Girl Garage, and you know your your garage business. So, congratulations once again, Bruno. Well, thank you. Got a new season. Yes, yes, we're excited about it. Okay, what's going to be different? I've watched you a little bit, and for those of us who have a history with you, what are we going to see new this season? Well, new builds, uh, new stories, and uh, a new co-host, and a lot of the same shenanigans that happen both on and offset. You know, I wish some of the stuff we could uh, show you guys that might not be fit for television. <laughs> but, um, you know, the, the storylines this year are really strong. We've got some great owners and some people who have been some really hard times and some really great vehicles. You know, tonight, our at premiere, we've got a big guy with a big truck. Uh, 71 Blazer that was in disarray, a uh, guy who really needed some help getting on the road, and uh, he definitely deserved it. So I'm really proud of the, the, the product we put out there over the past five years, and I think season six is going to be our best one yet. I don't know what you're talking about, Bruno. We always have good, clean, wholesome garage fun. <laughs> Never anything that's questionable. <laughs> well, Christy, let me ask you. Now, my audience, I, I heard, saw some uh, posts about you today. They're calling you the eye candy of the show. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I mean, you know, I thought maybe I'd have to fight Bruno for, for that title, but I, I maybe not. I don't know. Um, I, I mean, you know, I, I like to think that I try to stay looking decent in the garage, but, you know, also like yesterday was the great example, you know, uh, just disassembling a rear differential and I ended up like leaning down underneath the car and dipping my entire ponytail in the differential case of gear oil. So it was like a nice little like, you know, greasy stain on my hair for the rest of the day. So, you know, I'm not sure how uh, great that looks on TV. <laughs> it certainly didn't smell great, but uh, you know, I, it's kind of a nice combination of uh, trying to look decent at the same time, but also, you know, really getting in there and working on these projects, getting sweaty, getting dirty. I, I mean, I'm a tomboy. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> you know, one of the prerequisites oh, for Christy to come on is that she had to prove she could sweat and look cute still, <laughs> and she pulled it off. So. Have I? Really? <laughs> okay. It seems like she pulled it off. Bruno, what's, what's, what binds us to keep watching you week after week after week? What, what do you do uh, that we, we're so fascinated by it? You know, I think it honestly comes down to the storylines. It becomes the, I think we're able to portray the emotional attachment that some people have with their cars, and uh, it's pretty heavy. You know, a lot of these people take on a project and they fall on hard times, whether it's financially, physically, mentally, or emotionally, and the attachment to the car is something that keeps them move pushing forward and they might not have the resources to get it up and running again um, but to see the story unfold and, and everybody has a story and to listen to some of these owners stories is pretty traumatic um, and get them to see of the payoff at the end of a big smile on their face as all their family and friends are there to cheer them on as they pull out of that garage is something that's really uplifting for everybody for us being part of it and I think the viewers at home and I think that's what has made this show so successful. It is. It's a great success, and I know it's going to be more successful with your new co-host, Christy Lee. I want to thank you guys for talking <laughs> about it. My audience is made up of 89.9% .9 women, and they, they, they weighed in. You know, they they got to pick their own car sometimes, they're telling me. So your show has been an inspiration for a lot of women. So thank you for what you do, and I want to wish you guys the best of luck in this new season. When do you want us to watch? 10, 9 Central on Motor Trend. Wednesdays. Be Do there. It. <laughs> Thank you so very much for the lessons. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. 
My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.